Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting a non-recurring decimal to a percentage. Now in terms of converting between fractions, decimals and percentages, this is probably the easiest of all of them. And the method is very simple. If we have a decimal and we want to convert it to a percentage, all we need to do is to multiply by 100. And that's because if we had a whole, a whole is 100%, because remember 100% means all of something, we have a whole of it. And you can see to get from 1 to 100%, we have to times by 100. 1 times 100 is 100. So let's do that for these four examples here. If you want 0.7 as a percentage, we do 0.7 times 100. Now, to times by 100, we have to move the decimal point two places to the right, because we can see there's two zeros there, so the decimal point moves two places. So it moves once like this, and then it's going to move once again. Now, I've run out of digits at the end, but can you see, if I put a zero there, then that allows us to move the decimal point one more place. So now the decimal point is on the end of the zero there, and we've got seven zero point. Now that's just 70, isn't it? So we'll have 70%. And it's nice to have a sort of feeling that our answer is right. We know that a whole is 100%. So if we have 0 0.7, can you see that 0 0.7 is just a bit less than a whole? So our answer should be a bit less than 100%. And indeed, 70% is a bit less than 100%, but not drastically less. So it just feels right as an answer. What about the next one? 0.76. To convert that to percentage, we just times by 100. And that one's slightly easier because we've got enough digits this time. Move it once a decimal point, move it twice. We got 76 with a decimal point on the end. So that's just 76%. The next one. 0.03, again times by 100, move the decimal point two places, and now it's just 3% with the decimal point on the end. And finally, 0.002 times by 100, if you move the decimal point two places, one, two, well, the decimal point isn't on the end of the number. We can see it's 0 0.2. We don't need the extra zeros on the front. 0 0.2. So we'll have 0.2%. So that's quite a small percentage of something, quite a small fraction of something. 